Hi, this is Pete Ford, your uh, music theory teacher at Adrian College. And today I'm adding to a um, lecture I put up earlier on YouTube about the modes. This is a different way of thinking about them. And it's based on the um, diatonic scales that you hopefully already know, your major and minor scales. If we look over here at the cycle, again, I have another lecture on the cycle. You should, you should watch that. Um, we just look at the organization of this. C is zero sharp, zero flats. F is one flat, B flat two flats, E flat three flats, A flat four flats, D flat is five flats, G flat six flats, C flat is seven flats. Each of these corresponds to a number of flats up here. So if I have, say, the key of A flat, that's four flats, B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat is the key signature, B flat, E flat, A flat. So I'm just talking about the, the major keys, first of all. Uh, if we talk about sharps, the way I do the cycle, I have the sharps on the left side, the flats on the right, that's opposite the way a lot of people do it, but it still makes sense to me, and it should make sense to you. Um, if we have, say, two sharps, it would be the key of D, three sharps, four sharps, five sharps, six sharps, key of C sharp is seven sharps. It has F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, B sharp, B sharp. Um, what I want to do today is talk about the modes and how we can use the key signatures um, adding or subtracting sharps uh, of key signatures to uh, make all the modes happen. So what I've got uh, listed here so far is, uh, first of all, what the order of the modes are. We have Ionian is the same as major. Dorian, we talk about that being like a natural minor with a raised sixth. Phrygian is like a natural minor with a lowered second. Lydian is like a major with a raised fourth. Mixolydian is like major with a lowered seventh. Aeolian is like a natural minor without any alterations. And Locrian is like a natural minor with a lowered second and a lowered fifth. Now, let's talk about this. We can take a C scale, a C Aeolian scale. If we simply look on the key sig on the cycle to make a loc or, I'm sorry, a Lydian scale, we simply scoot to the left one key signature. So the key of G major is just one sharp. This gives us a C Lydian scale. It's the same thing as a C major scale with a raised fourth. But it's also a G major scale from the fourth degree of G to the fourth degree of G. Interesting, huh? Let's go the other direction. We bring it back to here, and we have zero sharp, zero flats. There's a C Ionian scale, C major scale. That's simple. That's like too easy, right? If we take it one direction further and we do one flat, one flat is, if there is one flat, it's going to be B flat in the key of F. And it's going to be right here. Now we have a C Mixolydian scale. Let's take it further. If we go two flats, then we end up with a C, and by the way, this will be B flat, E flat, because it's always predictable by what's up there. Um, here's a C Dorian scale. And we can cross-check this. We can say, hey, it's kind of like a C natural minor scale, but with a raised sixth, because C natural minor would have A flat also, but this doesn't. Interesting in how it just works out that way. If we do add three flats, add three flats, we have um, natural minor, the same as Aeolian. If we add four flats, so again, B flat, A flat, A flat, D flat. If we add a D flat to this, then we have C Phrygian. If we add one more flat to this, add a G flat to it, we have C uh, Locrian. Pretty cool, huh? So we can just look at part of the cycle, part of the cycle, and we can see it's actually half of the cycle. And I refer to, uh, refer to this sometimes as a lemon wedge on the top of a, of a glass of tea or something. It's this half moon of the information that we need. So we can take any scale, and by either adding a sharp or subtracting a flat, we can make it become a Lydian scale and we can make it become the next scales um, that we need here by adding, by adding flats. So, um, let's try one more scale. Let's say, let's take A major for whatever reason. So A, B, C sharp, D, 
E, M sharp, G sharp, and then A. All right? So there's A major, A Ionian. If I add one sharp to this, right now I have these three sharps. If I add one sharp, which would be a D sharp, then we have A Lydian. So add one sharp Lydian. And adding one sharp is the same as subtracting a flat. I guess we could talk about it that way. Um, if we take away that sharp, and so we subtract a sharp, uh, I say um, add one flat or subtract a sharp, then that's going to take away this here. And so we'll have just F sharp and C sharp. And this gives us um, mixolydian. Okay, if I subtract another sharp, um, subtract a flat, add a sharp, wait, I gotta talk about this, right? Add a flat or subtract a sharp. Um, so add two flats or subtract two sharps. Then I have Dorian, okay? And if I subtract three sharps, um, I could add, well, add three flats or subtract three sharps. I have a alien. If I add four flats or, um, or subtract four sharps, I'm going to end up with a Phrygian. By the way, that just looks like an F major scale, but it's from the third of the F scale to the third, next third of the F scale. If I add five flats, um, and when I say add five flats, again, it's the same as subtract five sharps. Then I'm going to end up with the A Locrian scale. All right? And again, this just is the key signature of B flat major but it's going from the seventh note or B flat to the seventh note. So all of these modes can be explained easily with key signatures, with the diatonic key signatures, but it's just a matter of being aware of adding sharps or adding flats. That makes them all work out, and they all work out beautifully. Um, I kind of did this one off the top of my head here. Um, but again, we can add a sharp or subtract a flat, we can add a flat or subtract a sharp, and I know it gets confusing talking about that, but it's just knowing which way we're going with the cycle. Um, it's one more way of thinking about the modes and making them make sense. I hope this uh, is a good introduction to this for you, um, and uh, this is just one other way to think about it, and I hope you're not cramming for a test right now, but uh, it's one more, one more talk through this. Watch it again if you uh, have any questions. Thank you.